Press the new patient icon. There is an option to automatically generate the ID. Or we can introduce a numeric or alphanumeric reference, for instance, the patient number from his. Input name and surname. The device will allow you to introduce the age and gender if you want to enable some automatic diagnostics calculations that includes the device. This icon allows to select a patient from the database, you can also delete the patient file by the paper bin icon. Let's do an example of manual audiometry test, starting with the right ear, in 1000 Hz. Press the central button to send the signal to the patient. You will see a speaker icon located below the touch screen. If the patient presses the response button on the switch, then the screen will be lighted up in green, just to confirm us that they have heard that tone. We decrease the signal tone step by step until the patient will not respond. We increase the tone step by step until we find the first level heard by the patient. This will be the threshold that we need to save. If the patient presses the button without any signal then the screen will be lighted up in red. We could sabe with the icon whether the autosave function is disabled. We will check all the other needed frequencies. We have finished the test, so let's go to see the results. It will show the threshold saved on the left ear and the right ear, by air, and by bone conduction. We can slide by the touchpad screen or use the right controller to see all the frequencies. We can see the automatic diagnosis, hearing loss calculation among other values. The left controller will allow us to scroll down through all these results. If we want to repeat some of the explored thresholds, we can directly access by pressing the value we want to modify. We save again. We go back to see how the value is updated on the results of the screen. Let's start a test using the masking. When we perform an audiometry test on a patient with hearing loss, if we apply a stimulus at a certain intensity, it could be possible that the sound could be transmitted from one ear to the other one. This is called lateralization, and this could cause an error in the results. Therefore, in these cases it will be necessary to use the masking noise. First, we select the test with masking, by the icon, AM. We will see that the masking icon appears on the right side clicking it allows us to modify its value. We can save it by pressing the left controller or, if you prefer, by pressing the same icon. In this case, we choose a difference of 20 dBs between the masking and the tone signal. We have enabled the synchronized masking option so the value will be adjusted automatically. The test procedure is exactly the same as tonal audiometry without masking. By pressing the second icon, we can check the test results. To make a test with the bone conduction, we will connect the B71 vibrator and select the test by pressing on the first icon. We would perform the same procedure we did it using the air conduction. Sibyl Sound Duo, a new concept of screening audiometry.